Welcome back, everybody. So it looks like I still have a couple. Right there. And there. And I bet I'll need to cover up those, too. Just because. Oh, and while I'm at it, because I'll forget, and I'll come back, and I'll go, ooh, there's snow on these blocks. There. And I think I've got, yeah, I've got all the snow. So I'm just cleaning up after the last episode. I waited for a while so till it snowed again, and and I did have a few places here, a few places where the snow um, was still getting through. Do that. Just make it a little purdy. Let's see. There, I think all the sky blocks are covered up. If not, they're uh, like plants or something on them, so no snow is going to grow. And of course, it's dark. You know, I started recording as soon as it, uh, as soon as the sun was going down, because that makes sense. Because you guys want to watch me wander around in the dark. Why would you uh, want anything else? But today, I th I'm going to work on a, a clothing store. So I can, well, I'm up here. It's going to go right in this kind of little square spot here. Because there's going to be another road that goes out this way with more um, plants and stuff. I want to put a shop here and then probably two more. Uh, they're going to be single story. They're not going to be double story like these. So there's not going to be an upper uh, house or anything in there. So we don't have to worry about that. You know, the reason I built the uh, houses was uh, on the second story was just because it was matching up with the uh, this walkway here. But since we're down here, I don't need the two-story. We're just going to do the one-story building right here. Okay, so I picked this corner here because I figured it's going to be like a display window here. Because it's a clothing store. So I figured you're going to have like uh, mannequins and stuff in the window on display. So they would. Uh, so that would be this area right here. Right around the corner there. So we'd stick. So this is all going to be glass in this. Um, oh I don't want. Let's not do that. Let's do that for the uppers. So this is like the display area. And then you need uh, a little bit of storage area in the back. And we'll also need like our checkout register and stuff here. So this would, so if I go, yeah, that would be a little weird. Let's pick this one up. Oh, ah, I'm trapped. Dang it. Oh, I'm really trapped. There we go. I'm in the underworld. Boy, this goes on for quite a while. I forgot. I raised this land up just a little bit to level everything out. And just left all that. Let's pick this one up too. Do I have a... I got rooted dirt. I want to... I'm just keeping the rooted dirt because it's good for decorations. And I forgot I planted like azaleas through here. And you, that's how you get your rooted dirt. You uh, plant an azalea and there's, it changes the dirt underneath it to rooted dirt. But you mix the rooted dirt with coarse dirt and just real dirt. <laughs> I guess dirt dirt 
and you, it can make a good uh, landscaping, you know, te technique because you get some kind of nice texture going on there. But we're over here working on this. So let's go here. So this would be like the display floor. There's a wall through here. It'll probably be this. Would probably be a solid wall here. And then you would come in. Let's see. Come in the front door there. Where's my yeah, mud brick? My one little stair. Yeah, get you in the front door. So then here. And I, not even really for a particular reason, but I just don't want to do a square building. So I'm trying to trying to make a non-square building just to make it a little bit more interesting. Now the roof's going to be interesting because it's always a challenge to figure out how to do the roof on these non-square buildings. Because it's just not straightforward. I should have made these into slabs too. So I may have to make some more. And just just to make the block go, I haven't to make it go farther. I may have to go get more of these, or or I could this. So I turned fifteen blocks into thirty. And that's a good way to uh, spread your resources if you. If you don't have as many as you as you uh, need or ha you need, if you don't need a solid block, don't put a solid block there. It's also good too. You can uh, you can waterlog the solid blocks, and you can't tell that they're not you know solid. Waterlog the, the slabs, and you can't tell they're not solid blocks. Then you can actually plant things. So like if I was doing some kind of indoor uh, terrarium or something, I could put dirt here and put uh, you know, till dirt land here or put like sugar cane and stuff. But you know that already. You've seen me do that. And you've probably done that yourself. So I'm just sort of rambling on here because I'm thinking. I'm trying to think without thinking. If that makes sense. Because I didn't, I didn't plan ahead for this, this build. So my planning ahead was I need a clothing shop. So I went and got some clothing to put in the shop and then kind of pick some uh, some slabs and stuff to figure out for the walls. So now with the part I'm trying to build it into uh, the way I think it should be. So this was all window here. So we're... And I probably should put, I should probably use all the same glass for, uh, for this, but I'm not. It's a design decision. Kind of like mixing it up a little bit just because of the, uh, it'll give the building a little more style. So it's an artistic choice. If I was being practical, yes, I would put all clear glass so you could actually see the clothing better but I guess this way you'll go through and you'll look through and say that looks interesting I think I'll go inside and check other than the, I can see everything from here because it's clear glass did that make sense yeah I hope so so let's do Okay, I think that'd be fine. This is going to be the door here. We'll do another window there and one here.
why why do I click on that it must be click I'm clicking and rolling I think because I keep ending up on the scaffolding but I think my fat fingers are are fat fingering it so they're rolling over there we'll do Um, I don't want any windows out back, do I? Do I not want windows? I'm not going to put any windows here. This is just going to be solid. And I think I'm going to put a window here. Like that. And then I think I'll put... Bigger window here in a smaller window uh, there, except I'm out of panes, out of window panes. No, 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 don't tell me. I'm out of glass. Let's see. I'll have to, I'll have to do this. I'm not going to stain it. I'm just going to make, I'm just going to make a normal glass pane, I think. There. That's a good start. Okay, now comes the exciting part. I get to try and figure out the roof. So let's start on this end. This is starting off pretty standard. I just go around like this. So I'm kind of breaking the roof into two different parts. One is this square section over here, and then the other will be this rectangular one over here. So let's see on this one. Don't want to use, I don't think I need to use this. I've got the spruce wood I'm using. But I think I want to save that for other occasions because that is the most or some of the most expensive stuff in the game is uh, wood blocks because you really don't get anything for it's like one wood block you know it takes a spruce log so it's and you got to build it so it's kind of kind of a pain to go through there so I'm reserve it to like uh, corner. Oops, corners and stuff. Why am I going backwards? Corners and stuff here. Boy, today is uh, today is just an off day. I don't know. You know, you ever get those days where you just things are just like out of sync. Today's one of those days. Everything is like that. Everything is just a little bit off. I don't know. Maybe it's a full moon. I don't know sunspots maybe I'm not quite sure what it is but you've probably had those type of days before what the Ooh, what was I going yeah I think that'll, that'll be fine that'll be fine I was debating whether I was going to strip it or not but I made that decision for me by accidentally hitting the uh, hitting the axe Yeah, today's just seems to be an off day. So hopefully, I'll keep pushing my way through and things will work out. There. Yeah, I think I like that because it's a display area, so you want lots of light coming in. Skylight really helps and then you got all this here so all the merchandise can be around the edges and people can see it And then over here we'll just have more clothing and stuff, but it's more of the retail You know meat and potatoes area. So like this would be a work area over here 
Okay, so I guess I'm just going to do a, uh, just a semi-peak roof here. And I don't have enough of these. Um, that might be enough. Oh, no! <sighs> Typical. I shouldn't... That shouldn't surprise me a bit. Should not surprise me a bit. Just the way the day's been going. I think I just need to get this done and then go take a take a nap or something. Because cause it's... It's nappy time, I think. Did that. Um, yeah, I think that'll be fun. I'll put a slab here. And I want the uh, roof to kind of poke out in the front for a porch. And then just one block overhang there. There. Well, I'm going to need to do this on the other side, too, aren't I? Oh. Holy cow. I've got to get this, get this over with quick, because I'm just falling to pieces here. So I got the roof completed. Oh, I need to stick something in there, some glass. There we go. So it's almost done. Let's put that there. There, just sort of light up the ends. Or not light up, but brighten and open them. So there is the roof. Finally got all done without fallen off too many times so if we go here let's do there so that will get us into the shop let's do a hanging sign here you know typing is probably not what I should be doing <laughs> today because I'm not even able to put blocks but there we go so we got clothing that's good let's do that I kind of like having like a little wall here so we're going to have these like that. So they'll be facing outward. There. So this is our display. So we'll have suits on display and stuff. There'll be some facing out and then a couple in here. I'm also going to throw... Oops, let's not do... Let's not make such a big painting now. Let's there. And then maybe was that the only ones we got for that size? Jeez. Let's go with that one. Because you've seen art galleries, I have. Not, not art, well, art galleries, but I mean clothing. These fang clothing stores are dressed, they're made up almost like an art gallery, so. Because you want it all fancy dancy so people will pay exorbitant prices for your clothing. So this is all lit here, but I don't think it's going to stay that way. Oh, well, it all looks pretty good. 
Although if I get rid of these, yeah, if I get rid of the torches, it doesn't look as good. So I'm going to put a couple lights here. I had a feeling that was going to happen. That'll be fine. And then let's put... Dang it. I'm all out of painting, so I can't knock any more off the roof. So that, or that looks good. Everything's lit, so that's that's the main thing. I have a desk here, so this is where the uh, cashier will stand or sit. Put a chair there for them. Actually, let's move that chair back one. Because they're not going to be sitting there taking your order. They'll be sitting back here waiting for your order. When you come up, they will rush up there and try and sell you or cash in on what you want. So let's do that there. Oops. I keep forgetting those are actual, actual products. Uh, there. We'll just sort of kind of change the atmosphere back there. So that's where you, that's where they take your money. I am looking for, I don't know if, will this work? I was going to put a picture frame, but I think maybe that'll work for like a point of care system right there. A point of care, point of sale, POS. Point of sale. And sometimes if you've used them, they are POSs. Um, let's see. I have some inventory along the wall here. Let's not put it too close. There's a lot of empty space in these type of places. So let's get rid of that. I guess the empty space is to just make you feel more comfortable. Is that going to pop that off the wall? No, I think that's going to be okay. Okay. So now I just need to put my inventory in here. Oh, I need to get one more set of um, for those trap doors. Unless I want to try, oops, try this. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, now I can get my inventory and fill this out. Or fill it in, or stock it. One of those. So, I went ahead and did some landscaping out here. I think that really helps. And then, uh, you know, just makes it nice. And then we got all our clothing, and very colorful, colorful clothing for everybody. I had to go make a couple more pieces because I was just short a little bit. But I got the landscaping going all the way around so the bushes make it come to life. Oh, I forgot a door. Oh, well, huh, a door. What kind of door do we want? Let's see. We will see what kind of door we have available. Uh, no, not an iron door. I've got so many boxes of things. And this will work. It kind of goes with some of the interior stuff. So we have a little shoe section over here. Like I saw before, there's the checkout clerk. And then over here, we've got all our mannequins. Let's put a helmet on that one. We have some red shoes. No diary with that. 
We have, uh, let's see, some black pants. We have a red shirt, but uh, I don't see Starship around here. And a yellow hat. So, I'll just one of these and one of these, and we are done. We have a little boutique clothing store to go with our fancy uh, cafe and our even fancier cafe. That guy is still in there. And then a not so fancy meat shop. Okay, today is finally over. I did not think I was going to make it, but I did. So hopefully I will go get some rest, maybe clear my head, and come back better and stronger in the next episode. So you guys all have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>